In Jamaica, we live in race course. My parents and I, my mom and dad and I. Growing up as an only daughter, I grew into a very close family circle with aunts and uncles who take very good care of me while my mommy goes to work. I can remember listening to my uncles and Sundays playing the banjo and the fife because they usually love playing that on Sundays because we have to go to Sunday school. During coffee season, from the youngest to the oldest, we collect the, we call it rot cut. During the night, when it's coffee period times, the, the rot or whatever it is at night, cut, eat the coffee, the sweetness of the coffee grain, and drop the seed underneath on the ground. So in the mornings when you go in, you can just scrape a lot up and put it in your little pan. That pan, you keep that coffee, make it dry, then you hand it over to your mother or whoever is in charge of you, and they put it away. It was sold during, when it's coming near to Christmas. And so you are able to buy your Christmas present with that money that came from your coffee that you have collected. And that was fun, <laughs> that I always remember. It was a whole van load of friends, family, takes me to the airport. Not just my mom and dad, but a whole van load. Everyone wants to see Rose off. And they all takes me to the airport to see me here. Be me board the plane. I was quite excited and at the same time quite conscious of being away from my family which I've been very close to. When I reached England your father came and collect me from the station before I came to Coventry, the first job I ever had was working at Park Lane Hotel. Your father was working there before I came here. So we were both working at Park Lane Hotel. The first wages your mother got, £3.50. <laughs> that was my first wage. And it suffices. us. He pays the rent, I buy the food. That was the way we begin life in England. Well, the reason why we left London, my husband had friends in Coventry. So there was a band of young men that leaves Jamaica at the same time from my husband's village. And they all came to Coventry because they had relatives here. And we were both young, starting out on our own and wanted to be more independent from family because we were living with his family, sisters and brothers. Country was on top of the world. You could walk out of one job, 12 o'clock, go and find another job, and you were all right because there were so many jobs. Every car factory you could think of was in Coventry. It was a lovely place to live in. I to come ex excited for a young person because there was opportunity here. Uh, my husband, um, his first job here was to drive a lorry. He was 24 and he drove a lorry from here to Scotland, all over the country. 
it wasn't very easy for him because he's a black man and he go to different places to sleep at night they would not even this not even the Salvation Army would have taken him in just to have a sleep at night. You have to go back in the lorry and sleep in the carpets. But we survived. So there was a big community of Jamaicans in Coventry. We weren't very lonely. So we have a marvelous time as a young couple. And we were able to dress up to the night with properly dressed up, not just wearing what you wear during the day, you don't wear it when you're going out at night. There was so many different places in Coventry that have nice hotels and we were able to go to dinner and dances and have a good time. We found a community of young people that wants to have the, our own building. That is where the West Indian Community Centre begins. It was just one room that we use on Bond Street once every two weeks. And we all congregate there, talk about the things that could be done and what we need to do to help the community, the black community within the area, to make sure we have something solid for young people and for our children to inherit when we are gone. I got pregnant with Delroy. When I was three months pregnant, my husband said no more work for his wife. So I couldn't work because he wants me to be secured. In fact, he never liked his wife to work, but I have to work. First, I was a nurse. I was a nurse. I worked at Coventry and Warwick Hospital for several years. Devon came along. So that means work is out of my reach for the time being, because my husband supports me. I'm a mother, I'm a wife, and I need to do something for myself as well. Therefore, I decided that I need to go back to work. Was afraid to tell my husband I got a job <laughs> because he, he didn't like his wife to work. I had a stroke in 27 and that's when I have to give my work up because I had a very bad stroke. And I recovered, thank God. And all my disability, I worked very hard to get rid of all my disabilities on my face. And um, that didn't stop me from doing voluntary work. My husband and I do the best we could with our children. They're all educated, thank God. They all have their professions. And he passed away, going three years now. And I have my four children and 12 grandchildren and two great grandchildren. During the pandemic, I'm so well looked after by young and old. I could not ask for a better community than the one I'm living in at present. <laughs>